Is the RX480 from Sapphire too noisy? If you think so, you probably have to replace one of its fans. But how do you know which fans you should replace and how good it is that tech support from Sapphire? I'm Max from No Tech Drama and this video will be about my noisy IRX 480 where one of the fans was doing a very annoying noise. Uh, put on your headphones to be sure you can hear the noise I'm talking about and maybe you are affected too. I was quite annoyed as the card was barely a month old and already was presenting uh, some little issue. Uh, however, I knew that you can replace only the fan and you don't need to RMA the whole card. So I reached out to the Sapphire Tech Support through their support website and I actually raised my case. So how was my support experience? Well, it was actually fairly good. They immediately acknowledged the issue, even though I actually uploaded a video, the one you saw where you can clearly hear the noise, uh, but they didn't make any story and they were willing to cover that under warranty. Problem is that I didn't know which of the two fans was actually generating the noise and I said that in uh, my tech support request. Uh, in less than 24 hours, they actually replied to me telling me how to do the finger test. Um, the finger test. Using the trick software provided by Sapphire, you can actually turn the fans on or off and decide the different fan profiles, obviously. Uh, so the finger test is nothing more than stopping the fans completely, hold your finger over the fan of the card and then ramp up the fan again. Uh, please be sure you are not trying to stop a fan while it's spinning uh, because you can even touch the fins and you can damage the card or damage the fan even further. So be sure you stop the fan completely, hold your finger on and turn on the fans again. By doing so you can also release your finger and the fan will not start to spin because it was stopped when the fans were start to kick in. So that's actually a very easy way to understand which of the two fans is actually producing the noise without damaging anything else. So once I finally identified which of the two fans was producing the noise, I reached out to the Sapphire Tech support again and they created an RMA and sent a new fan in less than 48 hours. The problem is that the fan is actually shipped from Taiwan. This package took like three weeks to arrive, uh, so it was a little bit annoying to wait for so long. Um, the good news again is that um, you don't have to stop to use your car just because the fan is a little bit noisy. The fan is still working perfectly, so I was happily using my car, well, not so happily because it was noisy, but I was not that impacted. However, bear in mind that the shipping process is not going to be that fast. So, when finally I received uh, the fan, I unpacked it, and uh, it was pretty straightforward, uh, the procedure to actually replace the fan in the card. First of all, of course, remove the car from the case itself, and place it on a non-conductive surface and be sure that you discharge yourself by uh, having any electrostatic charge by touching any metallic surface before handling the card. All what you will have to do then is very simple. Just find the screw between the fins of the affected fan and I will strongly suggest you to use a magnetized screwdriver to avoid to drop the screw inside the card. And once you remove the screws, just gently lift up the fan and slide it gently out of its connection. As you can see, it's a very straightforward uh, connection and all what you will have to do is stay then the new fan and do the reverse. Now, all I have left to do is send the broken fan back to uh, Sapphire, close the RMA and close the case. Overall, it was a good uh, support experience. They didn't complain uh, about uh, anything about what they say. They immediately acknowledged the issue. They were willing to cover the issue under warranty without any problem whatsoever. Uh, the only downside will be that you need to have to deal with a very slow shipment from Taiwan. But again, you can still use the car while you wait for the shipment. So not that's of a big deal. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more if you find this useful and see you next time. What?